Budget with Mama Bear. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today is Mondays with Mama Bear. This month in the month of January, I'm going to be doing a kind of like sit down with you, talk about some budgeting stuff and kind of just spend some time with you and share out some tips and tricks. And also because it's my birthday month, I wanted to share freebies with you every Monday through the month of January. So hopefully it will help you on your financial freedom journey. All right, well, welcome everyone. I was so thrilled to hear, see all your uh, sweet comments that you made last Monday. It's a lot to live up to. I'm like, oh, I, okay, what am I gonna do next Monday? <laughs> but I, hopefully I have some fun things planned for you today that will help you. I do wanna share out some things that I talked about in yesterday's video. I did do my, um, 2024 setup yesterday on Sunday's video. So if you haven't checked that out, I will put it up there. You can save it for later. Um, first thing I want to do is go over how I'm going to be using my budget binder. So I have spent the last few months testing out, trying out different budget binders. I tried doing other stuff all last year to kind of figure out what works best for me what do I tend to lean towards because honestly when you decide to choose something to keep your budget going one it's got to gain your interest two you have to stick with it and I know <laughs> right so I found myself got getting frustrated with just not having it work for me. It's wonderful. The budget books that I got and I was trying were beautiful and they were wonderful and there's a way they can work, right? But I have to do what's good for me. So I saw this one from one of my budgeting peeps out there from Pink Cash Budgeting and I could not do an unboxing because I was taking the day off. <laughs> right the week off but I couldn't wait because I wanted to tear it apart and start using it and make it in mine as you can see I've already done that so I do want to definitely though highlight the beautiful things that it came with so her shipping is like on point her brand on point so she gives you this cute little bracelet and her card and then a placeholder cute little card. This is all her information. If you want to check out her shop, Pink Cash Budgeting, she's on Instagram and she is on there a lot. So make sure you check her out. Some cute little stickers. I can add this. And then she gives you this manifestation check, which I think is cool. And basically you're writing a check to yourself. Like, what are you going to do? So I might think about that for my debt payoff. This is going to be my debt payoff check, right? Okay, so that all came in the cute packaging. And then this is, these are the rings that it came with. They are the Happy Planner uh, disc ring style. Um, they are the plastic. I prefer metal and I had these. I didn't buy these, I had these. So I switched it out. But what's nice about this is I could break it up into six months. So I pulled out the first six months over here, put it on my metal. I like it because they glide easier. That's why I prefer the metal. But you know, plastic works too. Um, and then I kept the second six months on hers, okay? And you can see the cute tabs it comes with. So let me just show you, I've already been playing with it because like I said, I wanted to keep get going on this right away. Let me just show you some things that I did, I added to, et cetera, and that will lead into kind of what we're gonna be doing today. So I added my sticker here and I showed those in my Instagram. Um, coming soon. <laughs> because it's this planner belongs to, right? So I added this box here. This is a box from a sticker book from a JoJo Plans. Um, and then I put my sticker there because it's from Mama Bear. Comes with this explanation about her, Samantha, she's the sweetest. And then I've already used my dot markers to dot out my paychecks on the year at a glance. 
And these are not including my Etsy and YouTube. These are just what I know for sure, based on our jobs, what we're gonna be getting. Because Etsy and YouTube are never guaranteed money. All right, then it has an annual savings tracker. Uh, this is what I added. So she has brand colors that she uses throughout her book, and I wanted to honor that. So um, I made this for myself because it's something I want, and it's something I liked from one of the other planners that I used. So I made this for myself, and I honored her design in that I did this, okay? So I'm not selling it or whatever like this. I honored her design because it's going in this book by using her brand colors here. Um, but this is memberships and subscriptions. So all of those are gonna go in here so I can keep track of what's coming out annually, what's coming out monthly, and I can add to this. And then I just put a notes page on the back so I can track something, just to have something there. What's nice is she has this here. Now, I can't zoom out any further with this camera, but I'm gonna try and get this, but this is a really nice little divider. So it has this, this is the monthly, and then I'm gonna go to February because I've already started filling in January, and there's some things I just don't share on here. Um, so in February, let's see. So it starts with a monthly budget sheet, and this is what I really liked because I want to see all the money that I plan on getting through my paychecks. Where I like to have that monthly plan of where all my money is going to go. And I really liked the way this was designed. So this really caught my eye when I saw her showing this. Okay, now we can go back into January because I can show you the next page. Because like I said, I've already started playing with this. So when you get this, it comes with these stickers that are the month stickers. So I started, I'm like, might as well use them, right? They came with it. You can even just write in the numbers. So I went ahead and labeled this. This is where I'm going to, um, I'm debating on this still. La I've done two different things. I've tracked spending on my calendars. I've also put my bills in my calendar. But the reason why I don't, know if I wanna do my bills is because of this cool page that you get. I'll show you February's. The monthly expenses. So this is where you put all your bills for the month and then you can kind of just highlight them as you pay them. That's my plan. So I don't know, I'm, I'm deciding what I'm gonna put in here still. That will be, that decision will be made soon. Okay, then the next several sheets are your weekly budgets and what, and y'all have seen this style before, but I like that the sinking funds, there's a ton of them. <laughs> because you know me, I have a lot of them. So that is in there. Then the cash breakdown sheet for four weeks is here. It's double-sided, okay? So that is there. I've already used it. And the weekly check-in was not in there and it's something I wanted. So I wanted to show you this. All I did was take a piece of cardstock, okay, plain cardstock, and I just print, I made this and printed it on sticker paper and made my own. You don't even have to do that, but let me know if that's something you'd want, because what I was thinking too is, if it's a digital download, you can print it on sticker paper, and because it's straight, you can just cut it on a, on, with scissors, with um, your cutter, you don't have to have them pre-cut because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so if it was a digital download, you can do that and just cut straight, right? And then you can stick them down if you had sticker paper. Or if you don't, you could cut it out and glue it down. Or you can just print it out and write right on it if it was in this format, right? So I'm, I'm debating if that's something you would like as a digital download. Um, if it was set up like this, you can either cut it out or you could actually just write right on it. So I go my check-in. This is from last week. I did it because I did not film on Friday. I went ahead and did that and I had $31 left over and one B buck. Yes. So that is something I wanted. So I went ahead and made sure I put that in here. Okay. And then I'll just keep adding them in here for the month. 
Then she gives you expense trackers, but there was only one. So I made copies of them and I added more. So these are hers. I just made copies and added more in here because I wanna use the expense tracker for the whole month. And then I will highlight them as we go. One thing I do over here as a little side note is I put how I paid for it. So if it was a credit card, I put CC. If it was cash, it gets one C. If it was a debit, I use a D, okay? So that way I know that, okay, I went to Walmart, I spent money on my pets, actually my hub, hubby did, and he didn't grab the cash, which is how I normally like to pay for that. <laughs> so I know I have to put $40 back into the bank. And I will put a little check mark here when I do that to make sure that I'm keeping myself accountable. Okay, so that is that. So like I said, I made extra copies. Then it comes with a uh, savings tracker. So you can, do, you can um, make sure that you track all your savings for the month, which is kind of fun. Now this it did not come with, so I designed one. And this is a monthly sinking funds tracker. So here's what I did. I put my sinking funds, I put what the balance was, and I'm putting how much I'm adding. So this is the money that you saw me add from the month before savings challenges. And what's cool is, I'm gonna use my favorite erasable pen. <laughs> I'm gonna put a comma here and any money that I keep adding throughout the month is gonna go here. And then I'm gonna put my ending balance. So my, even though I've added maybe $400 into this, if I take anything out, my ending balance might be less than that, but I just wanna make sure that I end the month knowing with what I have in there for the next month. So when I do my monthly plan, I know exactly how much I have. So if something big is coming up in medical and I've already had to take like $50 out, I need to make sure when I plan out this amount, I put a little bit more into that sinking fund. So this was a very important thing for me to have monthly. So that's why I designed this and I made it double-sided because I have so many sinking funds. <laughs> okay. The next thing it comes with is a debt tracker so that you can keep track of your debt. I'm still on the fence if I wanna do that in here, but I probably will. And then a very cute notes page. So other than the ones that I added, every month has the same thing. And like I said, I decided to keep six months in here. And, um, but I love it. I love this. And I love that I can add in what I want. So are y'all ready for freebie number one? <laughs> I have a lot today because I was having so much fun designing this week. Freebie number one is the monthly subscriptions. And I just made it, as you can see, there's no color on it. Because like I said, her brand colors are her. I don't wanna copy what she did. So, and I think this is a good idea to make it like this because you can add whatever you want to it. You don't have to have a color printer, another thing. Um, you can add stickers to it. You can add color pens. You can make it however you want. So, and you can print it double-sided if you wanted. I just printed this on regular paper. When you print, if you don't use the eight and a half by 11 size, you can make it smaller in your print settings to fit whatever kind of binder you have. Um, if you're using a regular binder that with a three hole punch, you can just take it and punch it and put it in there. So that is freebie number one is to, cause I think this is important to not get, forget about these. I think this is a really important thing to have in your budget binder. So that is why I want to make sure you get it. The freebie number two is the sinking funds because I think that's important to track monthly as well. Have one of these in your budget binder as well. Category, beginning balance, added amount. I made this long so you can add in if you do multiple amounts and then your ending balance so you can start the next month with what you have. Now, one thing that I am going to invest in 
is Donna Powered by Creativity has a, a year at a glance for sinking funds. And I wanna put that in the front of my binder. So I need to do that. <laughs> um, and I want to invest in that. Um, she has it on her .com. So I'll put that link down below. And I'm gonna put that in the front of my budget binder so I can keep look at a year and a glance how my sinking funds are doing. But I want to have a monthly. So this is why I'm giving you the monthly one to keep in your budget binders. I think that's really important to track that. All you have to do is print it double-sided if you're like me and have a lot of sinking funds. Okay, so I have another freebie for you at the end. Make sure you stay with me. Okay, one more thing I wanna talk about today. All right, let's bring our Follow Your Heart binder out. You're gonna see this a lot this year. I just absolutely love it because it, you know, when I got this, I'm like, oh my goodness, how did she even know this is me? Um, we have to do our January goals. And I told you I was gonna do this with y'all. Now, before I get started, I want to share with you this pen. I'm getting nothing from this. I just love it. It's called the Frixon Ball Clicker. Um, and it's an erasable pen. And I got these on, at Walmart. Um, but I think you can get them on Amazon as well. I'll put the link if I can find them on Amazon. I think you can. These have been the best erasable pens. Now, they're in black. So if you like black ink, I've used other ones and they don't last long. I actually threw them all away. Or oh, no, I have one. They're like these. I don't suggest these pens. They did not work very well and they don't last very long. These I use all the time and they are amazing and they erase so easy. So I highly suggest these if you like erasable pens. Okay, we're gonna be using this as well as, I got these dual tip dot markers and they're from Shuttle Art and these you can get on Amazon as well. So if you like the dot markers, um, it's a fast way to make like a bullet point. Um, I'll put the link to Amazon on, on these as well. I don't have an Amazon shop. I'm not making any money off of this. I just like to share out some good things that I like to use. If you're interested, you don't need to buy things though. Just so you know, I'm just telling you. Because people always ask me, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? I like to put it out there for those of you who want to know. Okay, so we have some goals we need to get going on in January. We're a little behind, but that's okay. I want to do this with you. So I'm going to, let's see, one, two, three, four. I have five that I want to share with you. So actually, I'm just going to do one dot at a time. <laughs> okay, so let me zoom in a little bit. The first goal is I definitely want to create a new vision board for 2024. And I shared with y'all my past vision board that I've had for probably about two years. Um, and so I need to create a new one. I created it in Canva. I do a digital one and then I print it out and I put it in front of me. So I have one in my loft up here and I have one on my mirror in my bathroom because that's what I see every day when I brush my teeth. <laughs> okay. So that has to get done. I haven't finished it yet. The next dot is, this is exciting because I've had it on hold. I am going to be re, I'm going to reopen, y'all know what it is? My Etsy shop. Now my Etsy shop has not been closed, but my physical products have been shut off because of time. And so my goal is to get that open. I've got some things designed. Um, I'm ready to show them, hopefully soon, <laughs> and, and, and then we will get that open. I'm so excited about that. I've missed doing this. All right, the next goal I have for January is to create a film schedule now, I shared with you on yesterday's video what I plan to do each day, but y'all know I work full-time and I'm a caregiver for my mom. So 
I have to create a film schedule that is gonna work for me so I can make that goal of having those videos on that day work. So I'm going to work on that schedule to make sure that I get this, I, I get those videos up. It's important to me. And then number four is going to be, I need to do my freebies for the month. I am doing a freebie every Monday or maybe more like today. <laughs> so I need to make sure I get all of those out to you this month. And then the last short-term goal is to, I'm just gonna write the word loft. I'm up here in my loft when I'm filming. I, this is also my craft area, my everything. And it's a long process to organize it the way that I want to. I wanna organize it in sections so I'm working more efficiently. So any crafters out there or creators know it's a lot of things to organize and a lot of things. <laughs> I've been doing crafting for, oh goodness, since I was, I want to say serious crafting since I was 18. So I have a lot of things. <laughs> so I like creating short-term goals because I love doing checks and crossing that off that I completed it. Just as a reminder, I do have long-term goals in the front that we did. And so I can keep adding to that. But every month I have my short-term goals. I do have some more space here. So if I want to add some more during the month that I want to do, I can do that. So that is done. Yay. And I wanted to do that with you. So let me zoom back out. Now, hopefully you're all still here. Let me close up my dual tip here. Because I have freebie number three. And the other ones were very useful, business-like, right? I had to have some fun because my freebies are supposed to be about, also about me. And yes, the other two were about me. It's how I'm going to organize myself. But y'all, <laughs> I'm going to stick this picture in here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> the pink cup. Ah, people, I guess we're fighting over this pink cup. <laughs> now, I am a pink person, and in the past, I probably would have been one of those people. But there's going to be two sides to this fence, right? The, the I'm going to get that pink cup, I have to have it, and the, oh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't get it. So I thought, I'm like, I was sitting there with my mom. I was taking care of her this weekend. And I was, I honestly, this just came out of my head. Like, I'm like, I've got to do something with that. <laughs> so I made two challenges for you. What side are you on? All right, I'm going to start with the first one. Nope. Saving that money. Now that mug, that cup was $50. So <laughs> the first challenge you're gonna get is nope, save that money. And it's a $50 challenge, okay? It's, <laughs> I had to do it, I had to do it. <laughs> All right, so if you're team nope, there's your challenge. All right, here's for the rest of you. I must have the pink cup. <laughs> But y'all need to save. And there's a reason why I gave you more circles here. Because by the time you save that $50, maybe you'll change your mind and put it towards something else. But if not, go buy your cup if it's still there. <laughs> or pay it off if you got it anyways. <laughs> All right. So this is the must have, must save. Because you need to save money to go get it. All right. So you get these two challenges what team are you on? It will come as a digital download like this. You print it out. You can color in the circles. You can put stickers on them, right? Um, you can do however you want. But I thought this was funny and I had to, <laughs> I had to do something with it. Um, so you get two savings challenges. Each one is $50. Like I said, this one is a little more because I'm hoping 
that when you get to that, maybe you change your mind. <laughs> Put it towards savings for something else. Um, my husband's like, you're not getting that, right? You have enough cups. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do it. It is really pretty though. It is really pretty. All right. All right. So that's your freebies for today. Again, they are down below in the description box. I hope you enjoy them. They are free this month. Um, I appreciate everyone here for Mondays with Mama Bear. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.